And I'd like to welcome you to this press conference as an expression of solidarity with the members of this synagogue who were vandalized a week ago, traumatized just before Passover. We want to let them know that a growing number of Montrealers have become aware of their situation, which unfortunately reflects a growth in anti-Semitism in Canada over the last couple of years. We want to see more resources put into fighting hate crimes. We wrote last week to Mayor Plant. We asked her to do more to ensure that the public participates in Yom HaShoah with the day to recall the victims of the Holocaust. That will this year be the evening of April 17th to 18th. When we heard about this, you know, there's a lot of emotions going through it. Uh, we decided to do something because uh, we believe that we have to go beyond words. We have to go beyond words of condemnation, words of denunciation of hate and a form of psychological terror on the Jewish community and on members of this um, synagogue. And we believe that uh, we have a duty to speak up. We have a duty to come together and support. Uh, but we also have a duty to follow up with concrete action and this is why we hope to uh, come up with uh, in the next few weeks uh, some concrete ideas and uh, measures to work with the city of Montreal which has to play a more active role and with the police and other agencies to develop what I call a Montreal, a new Montreal action plan to combat hate. So by coming together today, we want to show to those who commit hate, who want to inflict pain and violence on others, that there is a community of communities that will stand up in support of the Jewish community, in support of any other minority community uh, that has always been the target of hate. I called the police and other authorities, informed B'nai B'rith about it, and uh, was I was quite shocked at it. My, I'm a child of Holocaust survivors on both sides. My father was actually hidden during the war, but as a result of the war and what he went through, uh, exposure and other things, died in 1963 as a result of the Holocaust. And my mom actually went through Auschwitz, survived, but uh, suffered tremendously all her life with uh, uh, beatings and other things she had incurred. So the swastika has a, a special place for me. and. Uh, it was as if somebody didn't rush to do this. They had no fear. They took their time doing it. It actually looked very symmetrical. So it was quite shocking.